This is a, a little sort of introduction to the skeletal system and uh, as far as bones are concerned you need to know the bones involved in the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. Now axial I like to think of axis which is the sort of the thing that you would rotate round. So your axial skeleton is your skull, your vertebral column and your rib cage, and that, that is kind of it, and that's what you need to know. We don't call these anything different than ribs. We've also, of course, got our costal cartilage. You need to know the name of the sternum, which is the bone down here. Um, I really think you ought to know the xiphoid process, but that's just a personal thing. Um, and, of course, we've got that, uh, that lovely uh, fibrous cartilage. Now, intervertebral discs that we talked about in an earlier video. So, axial skeleton, skull, vertebral column, ribs. The appendicular skeleton, I like to think of appendages, which are all sort of things that sort of hang off your body. Uh, it also includes, because it includes your appendages, your arms and legs, the two girdles. I think they're easier to show from the rear view. Oh, uh, 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 so, our two girdles are a pelvic girdle, which is down here, sorry, and our pectoral girdle, which uh, you don't need to know the names of any of the bones of the pelvic girdle. But the pectoral girdle consists of the scapula, or shoulder blade, and the clavicle, which is the collarbone. This is one of the most uh, gracile, fracturable bones in the body, I think, the clavicle. It's quite a common fracture. We've then got our forelimbs. So our arm consists of the humerus, so-called because it ends in your funny bone, which is a humerus thing to bang. We've got... The, if I could just put my hand next to this, this is the way I remember it. We've got the ulna underneath, so the two used together, and the radius on the top. We've then got our wrist bones, the carpals, the metacarpals, and our phalanges, which does kind of make me think of friends, but let's not go there. Moving down, we've got the same arrangement because it's a pentadactyle limb. In the leg, uh, we need to know the names of the bones. Which one can help if his legs are the right way round? Oh dear. He's having a bad day. Uh, okay, so we've got the femur, which is the big thigh bone, with the patella over the kneecap. We've got the tibia, and then this is the one I would want to call fibia, but it's the fibula. And at the bottom, because we're looking at feet, we're talking about tarsi, so it's the, the uh, tarsus, the metatarsals, and again, phalanges. And that's the appendicular skeleton. So appendicular skeleton, just to recap, we've got the pectoral girdle, we've got the pelvic girdle, and we've got the forelimbs and hindlimbs, both pentadactyle, and you need to know the names of the three longer bones, and the phalanges, metas, and whatever these are, so carpals and tarsals in the feet. Okay, that's it. Visit again.